Hey everyone, welcome back to our Python programming on understanding synchronous and asynchronous programming in Python. In this uh, video, I'm gonna explore the fascinating world of synchronous and asynchronous programming. And it's a powerful concept that allows you to write more efficient and responsive code in Python. In this series, we are diving into the world of synchronous programming. It's a fundamental concept in Python development that you're going to understand if you are serious about writing Python code efficiently. In synchronous programming, tasks are executed one after the other in a sequence. This means the program waits for each task to finish before moving on to the next one. It is like waiting in line at the grocery store you can't check out until the person in front of you finishes. Here is an example uh, how the synchronous programming uh, code is execution. Let's jump into some code to see synchronous execution in action. Here is a basic Python script uh, that's going to uh, synchronously execute the code. So uh, here we have a function synchronous task. Uh, this uh, simply prints out numbers one through uh, five iteratively. Uh, let's run it and see what's happening. It just uh, prints the starting synchronous tasks in the beginning uh, before printing uh, the uh, numbers through so one up to five, and then processing synchronous tasks uh, just prints up to one up to five, and finally it prints a synchronous task completed. So uh, as you can see, the tasks are executed one after the other in sequence. So the program waits for each task. Uh, which means uh, printing the processing synchronous task uh, with number one up to five to finish before moving into the next one. So uh, the advantages and uh, limitations of uh, synchronous programming. Uh, synchronous programming offers simplicity and predictability which can uh, be great for certain types of tasks. However, uh, it's important to note that synchronous execution can lead to uh, blocking, uh, especially in situations where tasks take a long time to execute the program. When one task uh, takes a while to complete, it can hold up the entire program, making it an responsive. This uh, is why understanding synchronous programming is crucial for writing efficient Python code. Here is a uh, real world examples of uh, synchronous programming. Uh, file conversion script converts files from one format to another example, CHCV to JSON. Uh, reads data from a source file, performs necessary conversions and writes uh, the transformed data to a target file. So this is a synchronous approach, uh, process files sequentially, ensuring each file is converted before moving on to the next one. So uh, that's wrap up our introduction to synchronous programming in Python. I have covered the basics of how synchronous code executed sequentially, the advantages and limitations, and even looked at uh, some real-world examples. Remember, understanding synchronous programming is essential for writing efficient Python code. So keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and I will explore asynchronous programming for improved performance. Let's move on to asynchronous programming. Asynchronous programming allows tasks to run concurrently, meaning our program can perform multiple operations simultaneously without uh, waiting for uh, each one to finish before moving on to the next. 
let's dive right into uh, uh, a basic Python script that demonstrates asynchronous execution. Uh, here is uh, an example. Uh, to define a synchronous uh, program, you need to import the asyncio uh, Python built-in uh, module. Uh, so this asynchronous programming library is used to define a coroutine function called uh, say hello. So to define this function, you need to specify the async cure before the dev cure, which means uh, asynchronously uh, run the uh, programs defined inside the say hello function. I'm then using asyncure.gather uh, function to run multiple instances of say hello uh, concurrently. Finally, you call the asyncio.run and call the function main and the say hello function is uh, already defined. You also use await uh, keyword to await the current time of the uh, execution of the program. Uh, just asyncio.sleep, it just sleeps for one minute before executing the world after executing hello. All right. Uh, at the heart of asynchronous programming in Python is the event loop, uh, which manages the execution of asynchronous tasks. Coroutines are functions that can pause and resume their execution, uh, allowing a tasks to run in the meantime. That is called the sleep, asynchronous.sleep. Now let's uh, move on to the real world examples of asynchronous programming. Uh, in this example, asynchronous programming is particularly useful in situations where your program needs to perform uh, specifically input-output bound operations, such as making network requests or reading from files. By using asynchronous programming, uh, you can improve the performance and responsiveness of your applications, especially when dealing with tasks that involve waiting for external resources, which means uh, when you are scrapping data from websites, so asynchronous programming is very useful uh, because that uh, help us to uh, involve uh, waiting for external uh, resources while you are requesting to access resources from the uh, websites. So in this uh, asynchronous uh, uh, programming code example, uh, uh, this code asynchronously features the content of multiple URLs uh, concurrently using the AIO HTTP library. That is uh, the best library for accessing resources from uh, websites uh, asynchronously, especially you are requesting multiple uh, uh, requests or where you are. Uh, calling for multiple responses from websites. So this asynchronous is very useful. Let's discuss the advantage and challenges of asynchronous programming. While asynchronous uh, programming offers uh, many benefits such as improved performance and responsiveness, it also comes with uh, its own set of challenges. Understanding these challenges and how to overcome them is essential for writing robust and maintenance asynchronous uh, code. So the challenge is debugging, uh, error handling, and complexity. Let's compare the asynchronous programming with synchronous programming. Uh, this is a synchronous uh, file input output uh, code. Uh, in synchronous programming, file input output operations typically block the entire uh, program until they are completed, while uh, asynchronous uh, programming allows tasks to run concurrently. So improving performance and responsiveness is uh, the advantages of using asynchronous programming while uh, performing uh, CPU uh, or input output bounds uh, or accessing resources from uh, websites. And that concludes uh, my exploration of asynchronous programming and synchronous programming in Python. I have covered the basics of asynchronous and asynchronous execution. 
and discussed real world examples and compared with uh, synchronous with asynchronous programming. I encourage you to experiment with synchronous and asynchronous programming in your projects and explore the many possibilities uh, they offer for writing efficient and responsive code. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video tutorial.